hey everyone welcome back to another video if you're new here hi welcome my name is lily i'm going to talk about why i strongly believe that ghana is going to continue to enjoy peace as long as these steps are in place mind you in this video i'm not talking about the economy of ghana or trying to analyze it i'm talking about the security and why ghana is ranking at number two number two in africa which is a good enough position for a continent like us where people you know <laughs> where resources management is a problem number two is a very good position for a continent like us so for her to be at number two i strongly believe that the generation yet unborn are going to benefit from it and even hit it to number one most peaceful country in africa I do not know where Ghana rank in the world most peaceful at the moment. If you know, comment down there at the comment section. To you all, citizens of Ghana, congratulations to you all and to all of us too that are inhabitants of Ghana. But if you're hearing the sound of my voice right now, you are in a dark moment, you are being captive, you are going through something that you wish the police could be aware of or you wish that people could come through to save you and you are living in Ghana. As you hear the sound of my voice, may the God of the land shine its light towards you so you can get the help you need. With that being said, please do not forget to like this video. All right, this video, like I said, is not me analyzing the economy of Ghana. It's me talking about the practical reason why I think your security is working and working for you. And I'm going to be sharing personal experiences, of course, in this video. So feel free to share the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and stay watching. First thing, why I strongly believe that Ghana is going to continue to be one of the most peaceful countries in Africa and even make it to number one most peaceful in Africa is that. Let me start with the police, a most important part of security of the government that is in charge of the security of the land, which is the police. Let me start with the police because I feel like the reason Ghana is going to remain one of the most peaceful countries is because of the police system here. See, when you have issues and you go to the police and you as a complainant, you complain and the defendant gets punished by the end of the day after investigation is done, someone is punished for a sin that they committed. There's this level of upliftment that you're going to feel in your spirit. And in case you have it in mind to take a revenge on someone, you wouldn't want to do it again because the police have done it for you the way you wanted it. The injustice you were feeling before all of a sudden got taken away. So you wouldn't want to revenge at all at all. Except, of course, if you are a devil. I have reported someone to my country police before in my village a guy harassed me i reported him for physical assault it's not like he threatened my life yeah like he carried out his threat of beating me and he did it he beat me up in public and stripped me naked ask me in this video down there what was my offense but i'm going to tell you my offense for free this man actually beat me up because his younger sister and i had a disagreement on our hometown country, I mean, our hometown WhatsApp group that, that we created for the good of our people. So when she brought up the issue of selling the group out to politicians, and I opposed it, like, because that was not the agreement we had at the beginning. So all of a sudden, why do you want to do that? So she went on ahead and do it without the permission of the whole group so i told her to her face that is a no 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 it's not acceptable it's not recognized that meeting was not recognized so she felt like i've challenged that she went home told her family and her elder brother physically beat me up and wanted to strip me naked in public <laughs> it beat this beating was done in public it's not like oh they kidnapped me to a corner and beat me and citizens of my land didn't see you. It was done in public. And when I was done, when he was done beating me and he beat me to a point of wanting me dead. He was hitting my head, you get it? 
with something. It was hitting me uh, at the back of my head. And I went to the police to lay a report. On my way going to the police, he told me, he made it clear that I was not going to get what I'm looking for. So the best thing is come back and die. That was what he told me. And that that was just the beginning. He was going to do more. Next time his sister complained about me that she works with the governor. Do I know what that means? You get it? This is human, not animal. Saying this to another human, a woman. This is a man speaking to me, a woman. So truly, he told me he can never be arrested. I should try and see. So I dared him because I wanted to prove to him that he is nothing but human. And the police will. <laughs> the police would deal with him because I had a fair case. You know, you know, sent me. I walked to the police station. I laid the report. The police wanted to arrest him. They came to where he was, not even in his house. They came to where he was. The beating was fresh freshly done he came there and i had people who volunteered to be my witness at that place and the police told him to let's go to the station and he refused he resisted arrest he told them that his sister works with the governor of our state so he is above being arrested he is above the law point blank to the police they did nothing they went they left so the police left so that day, I remember wanting to die. <laughs> I have a weakness, though she's not, she may not see this video on time. So I remember wishing that death takes me because what is this? Like, I had a lot of revenge in my heart. And what if I carry out this revenge? It's going to affect me. It's going to affect my daughter. Then I had only a daughter. And it's going to affect my family. I'm going to kill someone. I'm going to go to jail. Because now, just imagine, after all he did to me, he got away with it. I don't have any humidity clouds following me, covering me. So you know what it's going to mean? If I go take a revenge and I succeed in carrying out how I was feeling at that time, this person was going to, and I was going to go to prison, right? Trouble for the land, isn't it? So, but because of how I was raised and how I strongly believed that no matter what you do to me, Getting to that point of spilling blood is not my portion. Like, it's not something I'll ever attempt to do. I know I'm still in pain up to date. And I remember a young politician heard about this. He contacted the police. I mean, our hometown, our Zuna police headquarters. And then they sent their troop to go and arrest this young guy. But his sister heard about it and went for him immediately. And the police freed him to go. Squad free. No punishment was apportioned to him. And I still live in anger up to date. Just that I was not raised to take revenge to a point of wanting to hurt someone back. So I did not get justice at the end of the day. Up to date, if you are following me on Facebook or Instagram, few months, few weeks ago, few weeks ago during this Mobad issue, I talked about the lady. I talked about how I was oppressed. A lot of people were telling me, who did that to you? Who? She was the person. And then when I showed them the person, they said I should let it go. I should forgive and forget. Nobody could add for me. Nobody could fight for me. To Nobody could say, Oh, is this what they did to you? People wanted to know what they did to me. And I told Nigerians what this family did to me. Up to date, the only thing people were telling me, are still telling me, is to forget and forget about it. Leave it for God. I am yet to get justice. And that thing is still in my heart. I'm walking about with a lot of anger. Anytime I remember, even though... By the grace of God, I will never any day think of hurting them or killing anybody. But I'm walking with anger in my heart. But even though I know I will never revenge, but I'm not happy about it. Now tell me, is there going to be peace in such a place forever? There can never be. So here, recently I had issues with someone who threatened, who said, he said it with his mouth because... Since my experience with that guy, when he threatened he was going to beat me, and he actually did, I have become very careful about life. When someone says something to me, I take them seriously. I believe them. 
You get it? So I, when this person said he was going to deal with me, I quickly ran to the police so that he would tell the police the kind of dealing he meant he was going to deal with me here in Ghana. And they acted like this. And all of the pain in my heart that have been harboring for some time, all the injustices, all the way I have been treated, all the way I have been treated for years, how he have been treating me, all of the pain just vanish, just gone with the wind, gone with the wind, like all of the pain in my heart, gone with the wind. The way they acted, I'm not talking about assault here. This person didn't get to assault me physically. He only said he was going to do it. And I told Ghana police what the person said. This person was detained. When he wants to go and urinate, they were accompanying him. This person was, you get it? So you see why peace is going to continue. You see why it's going to, there's going to be peace. So now that I'm no longer feeling revengeful in my heart, I'm not angry again about what this person did to me or what he has said he was going to do to me. I'm not angry about it. Yeah, I still live in fear because I'm human. But at least I saw the police act. Uh, that shows that if I die, they are going to do something. I wasn't just going to die and go in vain. I mean, like... This is not just about me, it's about other people out there. It's about women being protected. Tell me how there will be no peace in the land. There will be peace. So this is what I mean when I'm talking about it. Number two is that people are not under pressure to own millions of dollars in their bank accounts. Yeah, you want to get what to eat. You want to get so you don't have to go begging. Right, we know. But the pressure for you to be a certain class of person in the society is not there on young people in Ghana and I think that is going to continue to build up the peace that you guys have and I'm hoping that it continues like that someone is looking for money to pay school fees someone is looking for money to just get the basics it's not like someone is looking for money that the whole world will hear and say wow this person get money to get it because when you are like that yeah, because you going about and all you have in your head is how to make money more than other people to even oppress them with your money is where the problem is. You get it? Problem go come out when you are like that. You get it? So, and that pressure is not on a lot of young people in Ghana. I don't know, but from my little experiences here, I see that someone just want to build a house. It's not like your family is mounting pressure. Your family is not seeing you as a point of contact to success. Nobody is looking at you like you are their uh, retirement, their retirement plan. And that means you have to make the money they didn't make. Your parents, you must make it for them to be proud of you before their friends to say, that's my son, or I'm related to this person. So that pressure is not on young people in Ghana. So that way, peace is going to continue to reign. Number three is the fact that people here, I don't know, but there's this something about Ghanaians, okay? If you like, take it that I'm talking about it because for the views. Mm -hmm. If you like, take it that it is the truth. It is what it is. Ghanaians are not perfect too, in my eyes. They are nowhere near perfection. But there's this laid-backness about them that, you know, they, for someone to just want to come and steal from you, like physically steal your property, it's not common. Mm -mm, it's not. They will snatch your phone, no? They will snatch your phone. Please, though, oh, if you are in Ghana for the first time and you are in a lonely place and there's some guy standing there, it's not moving... And just the two of you alone, please take a long walk. He's about to snatch your phone. Don't go hitting him because you are suspecting him. Just walk away from there. This is due to experience, okay? But other than that, and he want to collect your phone, not your life. Like the day my phone was, was snatched from me, I've lost phone. I think I lost phones like twice in Ghana, yeah? One was at a bus station somewhere around osu and seko and the other was in my house where i was sleeping in my apartment someone broke through and then when he came into the house he only picked my phone he only took my phones and he left my laptop there he stole the money that he 
he could see in, in that apartment and left. He did not rape me. He did not take my life. Dear God, I, I, I couldn't stop thanking the thief because that guy only came to steal, not to destroy. Ah, no one is good though. If the police catch him, he's on his own. He's going to go to prison, okay? But I still appreciate him. I appreciate him for not killing me, for not taking my life, for taking the properties that he could find. In fact, phones, now phone with this boy problem. He took phones and some money and he left my life. He only blew me some chemical for me to continue to sleep peacefully. And he took, well, he took whatever he wanted to take from there and left. He left me, he left my life for myself and for my kids. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for it. So this is what we are talking about. Now, that one, if the police, if I wanted, and I wanted to go to the police, I told the owner of the apartment, I told the owner of the apartment to go to the police station and lay a report. They discouraged us. They say because we are Nigerians, they will ask you what you are doing in Ghana. I told them, I have something I'm doing in Ghana, and I was going to tell the police that thing I'm doing in Ghana. So if you don't know what you're doing in Ghana, then it's a problem. Don't worry, let's go first. They say, no, man, we don't go. Let's leave ourselves. That was it. I strongly believe that if we had made the move, maybe the police would have helped us fetch that person out. Because I strongly believe that it's someone that knows somebody that knows somebody in the house that did that thing. And it was just a matter of inviting the police and they would know where to start from. But my colleagues refused. So that was how the case died down. So peace is going to continue to reign in Ghana. Another thing is... The people, everyone just knows that, okay, if I do this thing, it's a shameful thing. People just, people are aware that if I steal from you, if I, see, taxi man will cheat you, okay, don't get me wrong. Taxi man is the only one, I say, I'm coming to Ghana, don't joke. That, that is why in one of my videos, I told you to download the taxi app, so that when you are in Ghana, you can use, use Uber, Yango, um, boats and every other new ones that they're having now use it to do your trip in peace you see this taxi man on the road he will cheat you i'm not talking about that one so when i'm saying they won't cheat you cancel taxi man taxi man will cheat you all right hey you go run your streets okay <laughs> apart from taxi man it's not common for someone to just i have been cheated before at one place i went to film and guess how the woman cheated me before i go further into the video let me let you know that i've been cheated by a non-taxi man and she was cheating me of one city hey, before i came to buy that thing i have asked her daughter how much is this the girl told me oh avogado pier is sold for two cities this one is this this one is this i knew the price so when i went in to get money and come back the daughter was no longer there it was the mother and then i asked her mommy how much is this and then she lied to me three cities two cities the one of one cities she sold it for me for for two cities but see i just wanted to give it to her you know i gave her that money not because i'm not aware okay i'm not talking about those small small stealing you find people like that okay out of millions of places you go i mean in ghana out of all, you will find someone that petty, petty cheat or cheater. Is it cheat or cheater? <laughs> Correct me. So that one you can find. Okay, don't go and fall victim and come back as okay, Lily said. So those ones you can find. But I don't think that is even a problem because these petty, petty ones, you can avoid them. All I needed to have done is walk away because I know she's lying. You get it? But I wanted to patronize her anyways because, man, uh, what is it? If this is what she wants to get, how much is how much is two CDs? How much is one CDs? So I patronize her. But you want to go buy something like it's hard for someone to just lie to you that hey, this thing they sell for 50 CD. It's hard for someone to tell you sold for 150 CD because they are fooling you because they're a stranger. It's not common. It can happen, but it's not common, okay? So these are the things that made me strongly believe that Ghana is going to continue to enjoy peace. But the most important part of them all is the fact that everyone is conscious of what will happen when they do you bad. They believe in punishment from God. Uh, they believe that if they do you bad, God will punish them. If they do you this, God will punish them. There are people with no conscience. Don't get me wrong, okay? What about, about the person I reported to the police? He does not have conscience. Yeah, those type, 
Mm -hmm. When it happens, don't forget to take them to the police, I beg you. They don't have their own conscience. They need the government to impose it in them. So when you see those ones, don't spare them. But out of 100 people, you will see like 98 persons that would, wouldn't want to just do you bad because God will punish them. And it's helping okay <laughs> it's helping this is where religion comes in here and help because everyone is like careful oh uh, jesus jesus will punish me allah will punish me whatever deities of the land will punish them so that is it and i strongly believe that peace is going to continue especially if the police can continue to maintain the justice system to help people by getting justice for those that have been oppressed nothing is going to limit ghana from hitting number one all right so i hope that you understand and i hope that you agree with me or not don't forget to leave your thoughts down there at the comment section as i will see you in my next video bye